All right, what we have here is my uh, first version of my homebrew shoot release. Uh, kind of a Frankenstein thing going on here. Uh, what we have is the egg timer quark altimeter. Nothing connected to drogue, only for the main. Uh, right now I've got the pins uh, not jumped. I've got the jumpers in a box at the moment. Uh, on this side, this is the board from that electric cigarette lighter. This is the actual heating element here. And in between all this is a little prototyping board. I've got the two LiPo batteries, the relay that actually controls the uh, power going to the heater coil, or excuse me, to the actual switch for the cigarette lighter. That's the orange and white wire you see there. Um, the diode right there that isolates one battery away from the other. Uh, back here is a block... Uh, you know, screw terminal block so I can hook up the, uh, this is USB charging jack. Uh, this would obviously not go with the shoot release during flight, but can be plugged in at home when it's charging. Uh, we have a little contact here, a little pressure switch for when the parachute is uh, physically bundled to the device. When it releases, it opens and cuts the power uh, from one of the batteries to the uh, lighter that way it doesn't stay hot um real quick i'm gonna number these the top one is battery one bottom is battery two okay uh and then of course a set of dip switches we have uh from the right we have lighter power cork power um a charging switch and a bypass the bypass uh does the same thing as the uh uh, a little pressure switch here, except I don't have to sit here and hold it. Uh, that's for ground testing. Um, right now, I'm actually looking at possibly doing a redesign on this whole thing, only because I realized after the whole thing was built that I forgot the charging circuit for the number two battery. So right now, I can actually charge one battery just fine. I, I just put my, my thing over here in the screw terminals and plug it in. So I'm like, well, okay, I'll just, you know, connect them up in parallel through the switch. And I tried that, and something's shorting out. I, I get a real hot wire uh, down here underneath that foam, under the cork. Something gets real hot. So I've got a dead short somewhere when I hit that switch. So, it's going to take a redesign. But anyway, um, to demonstrate this thing does at least power on, we'll hit the bypass. So I don't have to hit that. There's the indicator light that comes with the cigarette lighter. And then cork power. And then lighter power. And in a moment, there you go. So it does power on, the whole device does work, um, but like I said, I've got that problem with that charger circuit, so I'm going to have to actually probably take this apart, but progress is progress.